Welcome everybody, I am Alexander Litz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com and I have the pleasure to introduce you to Guido Terreni who is uh, with Bulgari. I have to say you where we are, we are at Bulgari and he is in charge of the watch division of Bulgari. Yes. So. Ciao Alex. Ciao. Benvenuto. Benvenuto, grazie di avermi. Eh. Sono Thank contento. You. Um, yeah, and of course, um, you of course maybe might have already heard that uh, uh, Bulgari pushed the series of the Octo Finissimo in another dimension. You started a couple of years ago with a tourbillon, then you came with an automatic, with a hand, no, hand wounding, it was automatic. 2014 with the manual tourbillon, the first world record, that was coupled with a petit second in manual. And then we did the Petit Second Skeleton. Then we did the second world record was the Mini Repeater in 2016. Then we shocked the world with the Automatic. Automatic. It was the third world record and was awarded the best man watch of the year. And then last year, the fourth world record was uh, the, the thinnest automatic watch in the world that by the way is also a tourbillon. And this year we are really- Topping. Topping it with uh, probably one of the most difficult uh, developments that you can imagine to do because to make a chronograph is very rare in the industry. You need really big, big talents to, to have that and to do it in a dimension which is unprecedented because we are changing the proportions of a chronograph. Mm -hmm. we're, we're coming out with a, pro a chronograph which is only 3.3 millimeters the movement and it is automatic and the whole watch is 6.9 that is thinner than some chronographs that you are, have on the market. So it, uh, yeah, the chronograph movements themselves. Exactly, so once again, those, once again, those numbers, Guido. 3.3 uh, millimeter is, is the, the entire movement. Movement. 3.3 millimeters. The case, so the entire watch in case is 6.9 millimeters. Exactly. 6.9. And we're talking about an automatic chronograph. An automatic chronograph. <laughs> that is meant for a gentleman, you, we look at gentlemen that has a certain allure, a certain elegance. Okay. Uh, it's not a technical chronograph where you have tachometric scales, where you are into the sport uh, element. You are into an everyday life of a gentleman who is traveling, who is working, who is an entrepreneur, who, who has a lot of aesthetics in his uh, And who likes sign. to cook some spaghetti Why not? al dente. But the <laughs> finesse of this chronograph, in my opinion, is that we coupled it with a GMT. So, I learned this just before, so and I was really amazed. It's uh, <laughs> because we are thinking of that kind of customer. We yeah. are thinking of a, a gentleman who is a globetrotter for work, for pleasure, and so it's very easy to activate because you have at three o'clock the counter for uh, your hometown with 24 hours, okay. and then with this push button, That's which is beautifully integrating the design of the octo, you push the push button and you move the hand in the in the trying to put this in the camera anyhow we will film that later yeah you can do a close up yeah yeah we do but yeah. just i think we see this already so it's so extremely easy to wear yeah. extremely easy to to so to once use. Uh, once you travel and when you arrive in your new destination you just correct by the pressing that by pressing the button at nine o'clock and then you the watch is set again and the little dial at uh, three o'clock is your will show you the reference time or your home time. Exactly. If you forget how late it is at home, you exactly. call your wife, girlfriend, friends, neighbors, sisters, exactly. daughters, <laughs> anyone you want. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the functional part of the watch. But so this automatic GMT chronograph. Yeah. Wow. And it's the thinnest chronograph ever. Now, this is the summa of all the experiences of the four world records before because you might remember last year the automatic tourbillon had this peripheral rotor yeah. that was allowing it to be only to 195 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Here we are applying the same uh, conception because uh, you can admire the movement from the back mm -hmm. and you have this peripheral rotor, half of it is in platinum, half of it is in uh, aluminum mm -hmm. to have the two weights. And this allows you to see the, the beautiful movement from the back entirely with this column wheel, with all mm -hmm. the, the features. So and let me just repeat this uh, once again. Peripheral rotor is a rotor that is not covering, of course, uh, parts of the movement. So the rotor is not fixed in the center of the movement, uh, but the rotor is moving on the outside, on the turning, outside. leaving the entire movement free to be seen. And uh, through a little gear train, the movement of the rotor that is posi positioned on the outside of the case, the energy is transferred to the barrel. Exactly. It's a ball bearing system that yeah. keeps uh, the peripheral um, the rotor in place. Yeah. And, uh, and the, the only thing is that you really see the movement and exactly. this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So, and it keeps it flat. It, and that's the function, that's the reason for which it's so flat. 
on top of the fact that we go to extreme because this movement we only buy the rubies, the spiral and the barrel. Everything else is developed and done in-house. So you can imagine the, the technique, the savoir-faire that is behind this watch. Mm -hmm. So we, I'm very proud to have a team that is really at the frontier of technique. With Fabrizio on the aesthetical side, uh, we, are, we are also on the frontier of aesthetics. So this is really, to me, a 21st century chronograph that keeps uh, a gentleman of today the, the pleasure of having an ultra-thin watch. It's probably the only chronograph that fits under the sleeve of your shirt because it, it changes really um, the proportion. I just wanted that. to say it's uh, probably the only chronograph that will not harm your shirts. <laughs> because it's, you <laughs> don't even feel it. It's like a second skin if you wear it. Exactly. Um, the execution will be this for uh, this one, one in the... This year, one reference. One just reference. Just this watch. Okay. And we always choose the titanium sun blasted because it's what we... So the entire watch, including the bracelet, is made out of titanium. Exactly. It's sandblasted to make the surface look matte, less shiny, very, matte. Very, very and, masculine. And, uh, yeah, pure elegance. The dial is in titanium. Everything Molto is in Italiano. titanium. Molto italiano. Molto italiano. 16,000 and something. Yeah, 16,500. 16,500 Swiss francs, including... Everything. VAT, yeah. <laughs> now VAT has, to be, VAT, yeah. has to be included, of course. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the watch will come to the market? Uh, in the summer, uh, in uh, July, we'll start shipping. Okay. The chronograph, the new. It's called Octo Finissimo Gran Grafo. Do you name Octo it? Octo Finissimo Gran Grafo. But you don't name it in Italian? In it, in, in, in uh, no. We usually we use uh, the language of the orangerie, which is French, so okay. automatic, but uh, it depends. Uh, you can call it in your own language as you wish. Good. So this is the piece, Guido. Thank I'm you very much. So proud of anything that. else you want to say? By the way, I don't want to stop you talking, but is there anything else you want to say about this particular well, watch? I want to say that it is. Uh, it, I, I was really moved uh, yesterday because I, I, I took the, the key savoir faire that we have in Les Santiers and I brought them to, to Basel to see everything, the brand that was expressing. I must say, I, I, got, I got really touched by, by the reaction because these people are very humble, they have a know-how which is incredible. They never say no to a challenge because... The this, people behind making it. The movement, yeah, yeah. scares the shit out of you uh, to, to do a project like Can this. Can you repeat that? It, it scares, scares the shit, shit out, out of, of you. you to start a project like that. <laughs> you hear that? And that is extremely true and, uh, and uh, yeah. I'm so proud of them. So uh, I, I can imagine to do such fin movements is extremely difficult. It's really the... The, 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 the upper the upper end of, of watchmaking so yeah. people okay uh, uh, thick is easy thin is difficult thin is uh, and uh, chronograph already is difficult is exactly. so we are so really thin chronograph is, is almost impossible they it's scare impossible. the shit out of you yeah. okay Guido Terry <laughs> <laughs> guys thank you very much for watching the new chronograph and um, yeah thanks for watching if you like what we are doing please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and to like our youtube videos don't forget to also to check out what we're doing on instagram and facebook thanks for watching thank you guido once again and uh, stay tuned there's much more to come from basel grazie <laughs>